And welcome to another episode of self-esteem tips in historical places. Behind me is a door. <laughs> um, this is to an ice house. Um, I'm very sorry, I am quite near to a dual carriageway, so it might be pretty busy. Uh, I do apologise. Um, and you probably can hear that. Um, but unfortunately there's not much I can do about that. This bar is Bisham, Bisham Woods Ice House. I'm currently on the grounds of the old Bisham Abbey, which is the old um, abbey that I've spoken about before in a previous video uh, about the ghost story of Miss Hobby. And this is an ice house that was built, built in 1790. Earl of Salisbury, I think, in his time, that he had this built. Um, and back in the day, it was basically used to um, for winter ice for summer. So in winter, they would have the ice and they would get it ready. Um, and this is kind of what it, it looks like inside. So it'd be like a hole where they would keep all of the ice in there. Um, and food wasn't kept in the ice house because obviously they were constantly opening and closing it. Uh, so the, the ice was then carted to the Bisham Abbey, which is literally, there's a house right here, but um, just on the other side of that house is the motorway and then on, well, dual carriageway. And then on the other side of that is Bisham Abbey. So um, it's very, very close. It was basically, this was used basically for desserts, a wine, you know, keeping that chilled, uh, preserving meat and dairy. So that way, the ice house is in a very, very important location here, which means that um, it's in a good place. Um, it should be cool, kept dry, draining soils. Um, this is kind of the, the back of it. Whoops. There you go. You can see the back there. Um, so it was really placed ideally here um, and it's shaded obviously by the wood um, so it's kind of a perfect perfect location and it's facing towards the house that's not the house <laughs> there's just some random person's house um, but it was like easy to keep everything from going funny and obviously keeping it from melting which is the most important thing they had sort of like um, in the picture here, like there, uh, they would sort of funnel down that tube, if you like, um, and it would basically allow it to thaw, to escape, um, and then it would come into a well. The blocks of ice were normally transported by boats uh, across the river, because we're very close to the River Thames here, so they would be transported across the river to Bisham Abbey, uh, it from the well as well, and the ice would actually thaw into the river too. So it was it was really really good. For and back in the day in the 17th century, ice houses were a major part. I visited one before where I got a chance to go in. Unfortunately, so I can't get in. Gray's Court is also where I managed to go um, and see one. So they are, you know, they were a thing back in the olden days. Um, the aristocrats had them and they were very useful in keeping ice. And also what's really cool is uh, the effigy on here of the old man sort of chuckling away. <laughs> um, that is actually from it basically represents in the 
olden times and laughing represents good times so it represents kind of the wow factor um, and represents having a good life uh, and that's sort of the effigy that is on here is the guy is having a good life <laughs> he's keeping cool in summer he's having his summer drinks and his wine and he's having a, a good one <laughs> today's self-esteem tip. Today's tip is uh, literally the mirror exercise. So when you get up in the morning I want this to become a part of your routine and I want you really to concentrate on one aspect. So I want you to look into the mirror and I want you to say hmm my nose looks nice today. Even if you don't necessarily believe that you know, um, try, try and find something that is kind of believable. Like, you know, if you really like those earrings and they make your ears look nice, that kind of thing. But try and pick out one thing per day and try and change it um, per day as well. And give that, make that your routine when you wake up, as if, as if you like brushing your teeth. And just say one thing that you love or you like about yourself and physically. Um, you can get on to sort of the non-physical ones later on but start off with the physical ones um personality traits you can do a little bit later but try and do the physical ones first because they're actually harder but they're easier to do in that moment because you're looking in the mirror whereas personality ones are actually they are actually easier to do because you know <laughs> it's less visible to you so you can kind of get away with it so I want you to really concentrate on that. So that's my tip for this week. Um, I really hope that you enjoyed today's, um, today's video. And please do like and subscribe. And I shall see you guys again next week. Bye for now.